Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Andrew Warren, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing sort of another transparency update on just some moves that I've been making in the stock market recently. And with this video, I want to talk about a recent purchase that I made with Tesla stock in my Roth IRA account. I know a lot of you all woke up this morning and saw the dip where it was like at around minus 12%. I took a look at this dip today when I woke up at around 12 and I noticed that the market cap was at around $650 billion. Right now, as you can see, it's at around $670 billion. But to me, I saw that $650 billion number and I thought, man, that is cheap for Tesla stock. I know that a lot of you all are aware of this as well if you've been in the game and own Tesla stock for a while but there are rare scenarios in which tesla will take a significant dip and a lot of the times when that happens i know even like on twitter yesterday and today a lot of people were trash talking tesla saying everybody's a bag holder and things like that but these people like to come out of the woodworks regardless when it comes to tesla taking a dip but when it comes to this stock most times it runs with a premium but there are some times like today and yesterday where it takes a pretty big dip and you can get a solid discount like if we look at the past year it has taken a pretty reasonable dip this takes us about all the way back to January 4th and although that's only around two months ago it is pretty rare as you can see with this chart here that we get a significant dip like this for Tesla. It's one of those that always has a premium on it because people are factoring in future things, deservedly so in my opinion, because I think it's inevitable that Tesla dominates not only the EV market, but in different tech areas in the future and autonomy and battery storage systems. They're focusing on so many things right now in addition to EVs. And I think the distraction for a lot of people are the EV numbers. But once we start hitting the middle of that S curve, that's when people are going to wake up and start to buy Tesla stock because they realize how fast everything is happening however by the time that happens I think a lot of people will have already bought the stock like a lot of us that are looking far out into the future around 10 years so it will probably have an even bigger premium then in the sense that the only people that haven't bought at that point in the S curve are the late adopters as always of course though if you enjoyed the Tesla videos please make sure to smash that like button but in terms of me making this purchase today what I really focused on was that market cap and I have to admit as a new investor back in the day when I first started out investing on Robinhood I would pay a lot of attention to the share price and I think this is common among a lot of new investors, but really what matters at the end of the day, in my opinion, is the market cap. And you can look at those in comparison to other companies like Apple, but it's important to compare the market cap to current revenues and where you expect those revenues to be in the near future and the long-term future, and also compare that to the future potential profit revenues as well. That's exactly what early adopters of Tesla stock did when they saw it had like a market cap of $64 billion back in 2019. And I think they had like $25 billion in revenue at that point in time, and they were able to look in to the future a little bit and see that with this S curve adoption rate, it's going to be easy for Tesla to make profits in the future and cover that market cap at the same time. So a lot of people loaded the boat on shares back in 2019 because they saw what a lot of people weren't figuring out in the market. So that's something to definitely pay attention to. It's a lot more important than the share price itself, in my opinion. However, there may be some people that would stray away from the stock with a really high share price, like with Amazon at 3000 plus right now. I really think that's the only reason Amazon hasn't grown a lot more in market cap is just because of that high share price so there are some factors in the value of the company when it comes to the share price because at the end of the day the market moves on supply and demand and not just the business model and what they're accomplishing that's why we find undervalued and overvalued stocks in the market because at the end of the day it's based on supply and demand but i looked at that 650 billion dollar market cap this morning and i just realized this is cheap for tesla and i don't see how tesla doesn't surge past this number even just within this year alone significantly so i decided to take advantage of that and i'll go ahead and show the purchase receipt on the screen here I went ahead and maxed out the rest of my Roth IRA and that was at a value of five thousand three hundred twenty three dollars and nine cents and that was filled at a share price of six hundred seventy seven dollars and five cents per share I think it was around at this time at like 109 p.m. so we've already made a pretty solid profit off of that so far and in terms of whether I think we've hit the bottom for Tesla stock in this recent dip, honestly, I don't have a crystal ball. And of course, anything that I see in this video is not to be considered financial advice. But if I were to give a short-term prediction, keep in mind, short-term is extremely hard to predict. Long-term is a lot easier to predict. But if I were to give a short-term prediction with this whole dip recently, I think this little move downwards could have been the bottom and then it's only up from here we could have a little bit of small scale volatility around this price range right here but i wouldn't be surprised if we end up staying above this 700 dollars share price
price, at least in the short term. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we start getting near that $800 share price once again. As a lot of people realize, they potentially missed out on the last good dip for Tesla for some quite time. Another thing to address with this dip as well is that, like I said, there are just some rare times where we can get a good discount on Tesla stock. And as we have more of these, people learn from their mistakes. And if they saw a previous dip and they thought it was going to go lower, so they held off and didn't make any purchases and it ends up surging after that, well, the next time we have a dip, they'll take that into consideration and they may just go ahead and decide a dollar cost average at a low price they're happy with rather than waiting for the very bottom and risking missing out on a good stock price once again. So that's another good thing with a dip like this. I think it's very healthy and it keeps those that are just simply looking for profits and thinking that Tesla is going to go to the moon in like a month. Dips like this get them to sell. So it kind of keeps out these weaker handed investors that aren't really looking towards the future of Tesla and are just looking for those short term gains, which is always going to be healthy because for example, if we got to this point right here and the stock just kept on going up and up and up until like $1,000, $1,200 and we never had a significant dip like this, then all that does is build up the pressure on, I don't really want to call it a bubble, but build up pressure to the point where we finally do have a decent dip with Tesla stock, then the sell-off is going to be a lot more significant. And that's kind of what we saw with the stocks, but on August 31st, where we had a huge dip downwards, I think it was at around like minus 20, minus 22%. So once we have that build up where it just keeps going up and up and up, and there's not a significant sell-off until that point, then it seems like the dips are a lot more significant and it gets into those minus 20 plus percent ranges. Just addressing my reasoning for this purchase aside from it just being cheap, of course I plan on maxing out my Roth IRA this year. That's just something that I knew was inevitable and this was one of those times where I thought okay this could be one of the cheapest prices that we get for Tesla this year so I might as well take advantage of it and if it dips a little bit further oh well but I think this is a good price that I'm satisfied with. So that leaves me currently at around like I think $24,000 in my Roth IRA. All of that is Tesla stock and it's all a long-term position. That's the good thing about having a Roth IRA. It's really a long-term play because because you can't withdraw that until you're 59 and a half. And I think Tesla is one of those that, like I said, it has a premium on it but it's one of those long-term vision stocks. I actually think it's a great option, at least in my personal scenario, for a Roth IRA position. Now with others, especially with that being in a Roth IRA account, that's a lot more risky to some people, but I'm confident in this company and I have a lot of conviction. So I'm personally okay with just having all of my Roth IRA consisting of Tesla stock. This is not a recommendation for anyone else out there to do what I do, but I just think it's a good play because a Roth IRA is really intended for those long-term positions like with VOO or S&P 500 index funds or things like that. I'm the type of investor that looks for those outsized gains so I don't really want to invest in an index fund because I'm okay with doing a lot of research and I think I can outpace the market in terms of average gains. So at the end of the day, this is all just a high conviction play in terms of these positions in my Roth IRA. And $650 billion market cap is just cheap for Tesla. I think anything under $700 billion is cheap. And the longer you look out into the future for Tesla, everything starts to look cheap. Even $1 trillion starts to look cheap in my opinion, as you start to think about Tesla insurance, Tesla FSD, all of these high margin revenues, battery storage revenues, solar revenues, not just the car stuff, potential things further down the line, like with machine learning and dojo and things like that. So I think there's a lot of potential in high margin revenue. And I honestly think that at this point, Tesla could easily 10 times in the long term future based on this current market cap value, especially with that lower $650 billion market cap that I bought it at today. I also look at this point in time and I realized that 2020 was really the year that Tesla popped off. It got a lot of traction. People started to realize its potential in the future and within the next 10 years. And I think a lot of that euphoria over Tesla kind of slowed down as we got into this part right here with a little bit of consolidation and some dips. We kind of had a slow bleed right here from February 8th all the way up until now. So that does take out some of the weaker hands from owning Tesla, which is a good thing. Like I said, I think it's healthy, but I think that euphoria on Tesla stock has wore off a little bit as people start to realize that this is a long-term investment at the end of the day. It's going to take some patience for those that are shareholders when we're looking at 2030 in the future. That's nine years away. I think once that euphoria started to wear off and people realized that they actually had to be patient, they just didn't have the patience for it. It's easy for a lot of people in the stock market to be impatient, and when they realize they're going to have to wait a while for some potential nice gains, then they may go ahead and decide to take some profits or things like that. So that's a likelihood of this as well. And I also think some people recently, especially from like February 9th, there have been, in my opinion, 
probably some people selling a little bit of their Tesla stock to buy Bitcoin. I think that's a pretty nice opportunity. Now, I'm not saying sell your Tesla stock for it, but I think Bitcoin is a pretty solid opportunity. There's a reason a lot of companies are buying into it. MicroStrategy, Square, Tesla. But these are just a few factors at play here. We had some consolidation, the slow bleed, people potentially selling Tesla stock for Bitcoin, other people that may have had some excitement wear off a little bit. But in terms of looking forward to things in the future, I think 2022 is going to be a huge year for Tesla. That's when things really start to kick off with the Berlin Gigafactory, the Texas Gigafactory, when production is ramped up a lot more. This is the year for the building process of Tesla's domination in the future. The Austin, Texas Gigafactory is going to be essential. So once that gets ramped up to full production, that's when people start to realize the huge potential in Tesla revenues in the future. And with the Berlin Gigafactory as well, that's huge. And we also had some news recently about some projects in other areas of the world for Tesla as well. So at this point in time, we are at the stages of this slow build toward Tesla's domination in the future. I think 2022 and 2023 are going to be huge years for Tesla. That's when the Cybertruck ramps up for full production. We have the Tesla Semi, potentially the Tesla Roadster, potentially full self-driving being mastered by then. We've had Elon Musk even say that he's confident that it will be mastered and ready for release this year. So I think it's very likely if it doesn't happen this year that it happens in 2022 or 2023. Tesla is on the ball right now with updating the beta and continually improving it. It's getting so impressive right now that it's crazy. But anyways, I just wanted to share my thoughts about this recent purchase and have some transparency on the moves that I'm making in the market. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to smash that like button if you did. And also feel free to check out my referral links in the description below to Robinhood and Weeble. And I'll also have some links for some free money in Bitcoin if you make some purchases on like Coinbase or Gemini. So feel free to check out those as well. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.